What is going on everybody at Jabota Slap Train? Welcome back guys to another car vlog. It's been a little bit since we've done this and I got a couple things to get talking about. Now, first thing is first, ladies and gentlemen, we have been getting bombarded with questions regarding our wheel stand pro contest. I know, man, you guys have been waiting patiently. I appreciate it. And I've finally come to a conclusion for three lucky winners. Now, I will leave those in the description box down below for you guys. So congratulations to all three. I'll be overlaying that on the bottom of your screen right now. Um, but I was pretty damn happy, man. I mean, fours a week went great. Uh, you know, Wheel Stand Pro helped out a lot. And I could not believe the amount of support that they gave us for that week. So I big thanks to Wheel Stand Pro. If you guys did not win and still want to pick up one, definitely go check it out. Link will be in the description box down below for you guys. But um, absolutely amazing stuff. And we have a pretty damn big week, man. We got Forza coming out with their Fast and the Furious expansion DLC for Fast and the Furious, for Forza, whatever. Um, I don't really know if they're gonna change the name. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. But my question though, you guys know I'm gonna have it. You guys know I'm gonna be doing videos on it. The question that I have for it is, will we see a drop at midnight? Or is it going to be something that we see going up Friday mid-afternoon like usual for all the other DLCs for Forza? Now, personally, I feel like it's going to come out um, right at midnight-ish or very early on Friday. Now, the reason for that is because it's an expansion. It's not a DLC for Forza. It, it has nothing to do with the actual Horizon 2 game. So that's my thoughts on that. I'd love to know yours in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen. And other than that though, we have Project Cars coming out later this week. Um, that is gonna be absolutely dope, man. I'm very excited for Project Cars. I'm pumped, I'm ready. We've been delayed multiple times, but I am very excited, man. I did talk about it in my BMNG video. I got sidetracked, didn't finish it at all. So my thoughts on Project Cars, uh, the 30 tracks that they did announce, huge man absolutely huge now if i'm not mistaken um i'm pretty sure that i did not see the nordschleife in that pack of tracks so i don't know if that is something that may be coming out later uh, but i would love to see them bring out the nordschleife for project cars i mean mind you we have it now for a set of corsa we have it now for forza gran turismo if i don't see it in project cars i'm not going to be that upset uh, but definitely will be hoping for it to make a entrance if it's not in at launch a couple other big tracks were the california highway uh, i think that was like a 22 kilometer track so i am more than excited to be hopping on that doing some cruises online i will be picking it up for xbox one um, probably will get it for the pc later down the road but i want to play with all my friends on 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 the xbox and do open lobbies with you guys and such so I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have to get that damn Brembo stopped, though. Oh, my God. So I'm on my way right now to get some lunch for the day. Um, I'm pretty damn excited, man. I love lunch. I love going and get my damn Subway. BLT, either on a flatbread or sometimes on that whole wheat bun or even the damn Honey Note. I love the Honey Note as well, too. All of them are my favorites, but you gotta have one, man. You can only choose one. What is this guy doing, man? You gonna look? Oh my God. I love when people do not even look when leaving the damn road, man. You know what I'm saying? They just kind of, oh, there's a car coming, man. Now, one thing quickly that I did want to show to you guys, I like to show you stuff that I pick up online, stuff like that. Um, now, I ended up getting a Trove Mini kind of wallet. It's a side wallet. I don't know if you guys can see that very clear. Um, and what this thing is, is actually kind of a mini card holder, but it has a various amount of ways that it can be used. Now, the obvious choice is cards. Now, um, I got this for the fact that when I go out, when I go out to the clubs and stuff like that, um, you can hold money in this thing. You can hold, why is my AC just bowing, man? Oh my God. You can hold cards in this thing. You can hold a lot of things in here. So it's really neat. You can hold money. I think up to 10 cards, cash, all this stuff. It's a hundred percent 
vegetable tanned Tuscan leather, if I'm not mistaken, made all the way from England. These are handmade pretty much. They're all done. Comes with a very nice little packet on here. Lots of different ways that this thing can be used. There's a whole slew of it. Headphones, it can be reversed. I believe it can be done into a mini kind of phone holder, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to do this right here. Um, so this kind of folds out like this. And then your phone will actually sit right into there. So it's really neat on the way that they've actually made this product. So just like this here, you would then have, your phone would sit right into this and it actually acts as a stand. Obviously, uh, if it's flat, I don't know if I have anything flat here, unfortunately. Um, I mean, my hand, I guess, will work. But I have the OtterBox case, but that actually holds very nicely right on there. So it's a nice little level on there. It's pretty neat. And I picked this up for about 30 bucks off their website. They have a whole slew of different colors. This is their coffee one. Um, I'll leave a link to Trove's website in the description box down below for you guys, but definitely worth checking out. I mean, these things are super bendable, um, stretchy. I mean, I'm stretching this, man, and I cannot even pull on this as hard enough as it needs to be. Um, a lot of different variations for this thing, so it's very, very neat. Uh, you can also make it reversible just like this so that way your cards can go on the sides or you know your money or anything like that. Um, so there's a lot of different variations for this thing and I thought it was really neat. So I picked it up. I'm gonna be using this next time I go out to the clubs. Um, you can also put your headphones in here. So I'm probably gonna use it for that. Um, but again, I mean, just an awesome product, man. I mean, very neat. Hat off to Trove and their company for just producing some solid stuff. Uh, the back of this says, designed and made in England using the finest Italian vegetable tanned leather and elastic. So you can find out more at www.trove.cc. Um, and this thing is just absolutely gorgeous, man. The core collection has one of the latest remaining small leather goods manufacturers in the UK. Our factory in Melton Marbury has hundreds of years of combined knowledge. Your Trove is ingrained with the passion of the craftspeople who made it. Find out more at trove.cc. Awesome product. I love this thing, man. This is a nice classy thing to bring to the club. Instead of, you know, bringing elastic, saying, oh yeah, you know, I got my money right here, my elastic band, you know, now you actually have a nice little leather kind of clip, put your driver's license in there and you're good to go. You're not gonna worry about, you know, the cards bending too much. You throw in, you know, up to 10 cards in this thing, you're good to go. So that's my damn purchase of the day. Trove wallet, I love it, man. Now let's go get some damn Subway, man. I'm hungry right now. God, that hurts. I just spelt it all over my damn self. So Subway's doing a deal now. At least at this one, you buy a sub and you get any damn coffee out of the Keurig machine. So I was like, all right, I got some hazelnut coffee on this thing. It's a little full though. But it's good though, man. It's real good. So as I was saying though, as I said, Project Cars, I'm grabbing it. Trove wallet, pick it up, and the Wheel Stand Pro winners claim your prizes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on my way back right now, and one disappointing thing about the month of April is going to be the fact that I now have to work an extra day at my school placement. So as soon as March 23rd hit, um, it now turns into a pretty much, um, oh, okay, appreciate it. Pretty much turns into a part-time job working 24 hours there, or I could do that for five weeks, or I do three weeks of full-time. So I figured I'd take the damn easy way and take the part-time and just kind of extend it a little bit. That way I can still do videos and all that good stuff too. So it sucks, but it's got to be done. And then after that, I'm good to go. Be done school for the damn summer. We get back to the daily grind of videos, live streams, all that good stuff. Uh, recently, actually, I was just playing Grand Theft Auto last night with Diggums, Rising Drift, and um, who else was it that came in there? I think there was James uh, that I used to play with for Forza. So, I mean, not used to, I still play with him, 
But we had a lot of fun doing that. That live com for that session of heist number four is gonna be going up uh, hopefully tomorrow. So that's gonna be going up. We had a blast on that, man. Heists have been absolutely awesome. I'd love to know your thoughts so far on what you think about the heist. You know, were they worth the wait? Um, there's been a lot of lag. I mean, it took us almost two hours just to get through, uh, you know, three of the setups because it just it kept on lagging. You know, we just kept failing the mission. Um, so, I mean, it comes down to, you know, just having skill with it. But damn, man, it's been tough trying to get some solid, consistent games on heist just without all the damn menus and such. Now, I know you guys have been wanting a lot more car vlogs. I do apologize that they haven't been out. Um, obviously, we just had fours a week last week, so that's why I didn't have any car vlogs. But I do want to keep these consistent, so I will be doing these at least once a week for you guys, maybe even twice a week. Really dependent on, you know, what I have to discuss with you guys. Um, so, I mean, obviously, this week is going to be packed. Expect videos all Friday on Forza, and including the weekend, nothing but Forza 5, or sorry, Forza Horizon 2 Fast and the Furious expansion, man. I cannot wait. It's going to be absolutely dope. those country roads though man I hope you don't hear that damn clacking of the GoPro on there I think I spilled yeah I definitely spilled the coffee on that one son of a chip man for anybody that drives standard or likes to go fast you never put your cup like this which is I just did you can see it dripping all over my hand you put it like this man so when you put the damn pedal down your coffee goes like this and not out the opposite way which I just did I got damn coffee all over everything now son of a shit man it's some bullshit right now but as i said though guys come on back for tomorrow i'm gonna be doing some grand theft auto some more forza content so i hope you guys are coming back we got a set of courses going down later this week and the crew i wanted to test out the new update the new physics on there and really see if the game has improved which i hope it has man i really do what is going on with this damn melt right now? I mean, I'll, I'll just hold it like this, man. I'll hold it. I just want to make sure that we're not rattling the damn video, man. You know what I'm saying? It's some bullshit, man. It's some bullshit. All right. Pretty much back, man. Lunch break is about to begin. I got a damn honey and oat BLT footlong toasted with lettuce, tomato, green pepper. What else we got on that? I think I got... I didn't get hot pepper this time. Sauces, I ended up picking up uh, Chipotle, ranch, and tzatziki for a change up today. So I think this is going to be absolutely delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go enjoy my lunch. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Does this Beamer take my spot? Oh, no. We're good. We're good. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming along with my lunch break with me, man. And I will see you guys back here for tomorrow's video. Congratulations to all the winners of our Wheel Stand Pro. As I said, you'll find all those links in the description box down below for you guys. So congratulations, as well as our Twitter winner, um, as well to Project Cars. It's going down. We got the Troll Wallet. If you guys want to pick one up, I will leave a link to their website in the bottom, man. Awesome little wallet. Various use of purposes on this thing. So this is going to be absolute awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, Chibota Slab Train, I'm out. Peace. Oh my god! What is going on everybody? It's your boy the Slab Train and welcome back guys. Uh.